Lions and the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel, on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Fans, we all agree that nobody likes spiders, ants, mice, or frankly any other pests. Well, Edge gets rid of all that. They create a clean, safe, and pest-free environment for you and your family. We're through one quarter of play here at Lavelle Edwards Stadium. BYU 3 and NIU no score. And as quarter number two begins, we wait to see if Anthony Thompson will stay at quarterback for the Huskies. He's the number two quarterback, Childers, and had, had zero rushes before the last play of quarter number one. And that was Thompson with his first rush of the season. He's thrown only one pass, completed it for minus five yards, so seldom used, but they've uh, given him a look here. Late in quarter number one, and will it be early in quarter number two? Quarter number one ends with BYU at 66 total yards, 21 pass and 45 rush. NIU has 29 pass, 23 rush for a total of 52. BYU in leading after the first quarter in the Kalani Sitake era, 6-1. and one. They lead after one here in Provo. Well, that's kind of a kind of a Northern Illinois game right now. It's uh, low scoring. In fact, it went to half with Iowa three to nothing in favor of Iowa. Thompson stays in the game. Yeah, and shakes hands with the uh, with the center <laughs> official. <laughs> Good to see you. Hey, I played with your dad back <laughs> in. <laughs> All right, loaded pistol, meaning shotgun with split backs and a trail back. So the house is full in the backfield as the keeper from Thompson sends him into the middle of the pile, and he is driven back, (laughs) sent back, straight back by Lorenzo Fawatea. (laughs) Oh, Oh, man. Just Uh, doubled up right there. The 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 crowd really got behind that hit. That was was loud from uh, down here on the field. Mitchell Juergens in the Zions Bank end zone. Zions Bank, we haven't forgotten, who keeps us in business. We'll call that last play our Martin's Collision of the Game. Yeah. Brought to you by Martin's Collision Repair. For the right repair, the right paint, the right choice, learn more at martinscollision.com. Third down and three, NIU. In the Huskies' 33-yard line. Thompson stays in shotgun. Snap, Thompson flag flies as yeah. they go fly sweep and Motion. false start. Uh, BYU's brought in their nickel. False start. Offense, number 17. Five-yard penalty. Third down. Thompson just came out. So Childers back in on this third down and longer. Third down and eight. Pistol formation. Marcus Jones behind Childers. Trips to the wide side, right side. One wide receiver short on third down and eight from the NIU 28. 14-10 to go till halftime. BYU 3, NIU 0. Childers now slides his back to his right hip. That's Jones. BYU shows three wide defensive linemen dropping eight as Childers comes near sideline. It is incomplete intended for Dennis Robinson at the near boundary. And NIU will punt it away. Third and three went to third and eight on the false start. Now on fourth and eight, NIU punt team is on. And one of the uh, offenses that struggles most in the FBS is struggling to get things going here today in Provo. Matt Ferentz on to punt it away and Michael Shelton to return for BYU. Shelton awaits at the Cougar 30-yard line. BYU's had three possessions, a field goal, and two punts. And NIU is punted on all three possessions. Short kick, and Shelton will let it bounce at the sideline, right inside the 35-yard line of BYU. Cougars first down and 10. We stay right here with 13.47 to go until halftime. And BYU up by a Skyler Southam field goal of 35 yards. That last pass was just out of bounds. Uh, BYU defended it quite well. In fact, at BYU, I was wondering if they would continue using that five under three deep zone against uh, other teams besides Hawaii. And so that was the same defense that we saw last two weeks ago against Hawaii in that passing situation. James Emby. Empey crouches over the ball at the 34-yard line. Wilson's under center. Canada is the tailback. Tight trips left. Single wide right, deep drop Zach, throws to Bushman. Bushman sheds a tackler at midfield. 45-40 inside the NIU 40-yard line. Right side of the field and inside the 40 for Matt Bushman. Good job by Canada to pick up that linebacker. So it's play action. Canada looks like he's going to get the football. The linebacker fills, and then Canada takes him on so he can't rush. Squally stays in the backfield on hurry up, and they just run right with Squally for no gain on first and 10 from the 38 of NIU. 
for. And look at, see, they, they've got 10 white jerseys over there at the point of the tack where the ball's being, being run. Now it's second down and 10. BYU hurried up after the big game to Good Bushman and then simply ran squally right for nothing. It'll be Cauley, Bushman, Pau, El Bakri checking out and four checking in. So platooning on offense after a 28-yard catch by Bushman and a no-gain run by Squally. Second and 10 at the NIU 38-yard line. BYU 3, NIU 0. Two minutes gone here in quarter number two. Riley Burt to the left tip of Wilson. He's got trips to the right, single wide left side. And now they shift both Holker and Hefo from right to left to join Shumway. Snap Zach. Hand off Burt. Burt running right. Gain of three to the 35-yard line. Third down and seven coming up. And BYU's had a third down and seven and missed on it. This will be their fourth third down of the fi- first half. And they're 0 for 4 on third down conversion attempts. Middle linebacker Kyle Pugh out there making that tackle all the way out there on the numbers on Riley Burt. So that middle, lap, middle backers had a lot of range. We'll see what BYU has designed here on third down and eight from the Northern Illinois 36-yard line. Third and eight officially. Twins left. Twins right. Wilson Gunn with Hadley. Drops deep in the pocket. Sets up screen. Completed to Hefo, but he's got yards to gain, and he's not going to get them. Maybe a gain of a yard after that slow-developing screen, and Hefo well short. It'll be fourth down and six, and almost seven. And the offense stays on the field. This would be a 52-yard field goal try for Skyler South, and who they say is good for it, but they're not looking to the special teams. They're keeping the offense out there on fourth and seven. So from the 35-yard line of NIU, BYU leading at three zip, 11.45 to go till halftime. Another fourth down try for BYU. They made their earlier fourth down attempt. I believe that was a fourth and four. Wilson shotgun. Katoa right hip. Snap Zach. It's a shovel screen to Lopini, and he is caught a good four yards short. On fourth and seven, gain of three. And BYU turns it over on downs. Think about that Northern Illinois defense. They've, they've got everything. There's always a guy in the, in the wrong spot. Timeout on the field, 11-27 to go till halftime. BYU three, Northern Illinois zero on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. You're listening to BYU football on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Here's Jason Shepard with a scoreboard update. From earlier today in Top 25 College Football, Northwestern upsets number 20, Wisconsin, 31-17. And in women's volleyball, number one, BYU leading 2-0 at Gonzaga in the third set, all tied up, 20 apiece. Now back over to the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. Shep, thank you. BYU is almost exactly doubling up NIU in yards, 100-52, plays, 23-11, and time of possession is exactly doubled. 22, or rather 12-22 to 6-11 for Northern Illinois. And NIU football as we come back out of the break with BYU having turned it over on downs. BYU's 0-5 on third downs. One of two now on fourth downs. That shovel screen to Katoa was caught well short of the line to gain on fourth and seven. Gain of three or four is all. And so NIU now first down and 10 at the Husky 32. 11-27 to go till halftime. BYU 3 and Northern Illinois 0. And Marcus Childers is back in at quarterback. We saw a cameo of Anthony Thompson in that last series. Marcus Jones, the back to his left hip. Twins either side. First and ten Huskies. BYU shows three wide defensive linemen. Drops eight. And Childers throws high. Caught by Wesley at the 45-yard line. Jawan Wesley all the way out to the 47, almost the 48. 15 or 16-yard gain for NIU. On first down. That's the weak spot, I think, in BYU's defense is that, uh, you know, 15 yards over the middle of the field. They have a hard time defending that area. And that was when Cho- BYU chose to drop eight. First and ten Huskies at their own 48-yard line. Tight end shift from left to right, creating a wing back to the right. Childers shotgun Jones to his left hip. Play fake. Stepping up in the pocket, trying to take off. Not going to let him get there is Kyrus Tonga or Lorenzo Fawate. I think it was Tonga that wrapped him up. It yeah. was Kyrus. Kyrus wouldn't let him go anywhere. Yeah, I know. Just had him running in mud. Lost on the play to second and 12. And Kyrus had his blocker locked up on him also. He had them both. He, <laughs> he was getting rid of the blocker at the same time he was bear-hugging the quarterback. Yeah, and I think, uh, I think BYU plays its best defense when they can get pressure. So I'd love to see some more blitzes on yeah. the defensive side. BYU again, three at the line. 
Corbin Kafusi playing a hybrid linebacker spy as the pass goes incomplete on second and 12 to the far side intended for the tall Dennis Robinson. It'll be third down and 12, so the first real problematic down and distance situation for NIU today. Their longest third down prior to this was third down and eight. Third down and 12 at their own 46-yard line. 10-22 to go till halftime, and they get right back to the line. Trips left, single wide right. Marcus Jones in pistol with Childers. BYU again crouches three defensive linemen. Kafusi in a linebacker spot playing with a pink elbow brace on his right arm, acting as more or less of a spy today as Childers has time. Now takes off to the right, has to get 12 yards for the marker, and won't get there. I think he's a yard shy. Boy, it's Got close. close to it, it's but close. he ran to the far sideline, needing 12, and he'll be just maybe a half yard shy if that. So got almost all of it as there was wide open space to the right side as tacklers and sideline hemmed in Childers. He got to the boundary very close to the line to gain, but it'll be a half yard shy. So football length and then some. Fourth down for NIU. They go pistol with Harbison behind Childers and a hurry up. Now they look to the sideline as things slow somewhat with a 10-second play clock. Childers steps up to Audible, backs back into Pistol. Fourth and short, less than a yard. Option look left, flag, and it should be a false start. Yeah, it's got to be a a problem on the offense. False start, offense number 44. Five-yard penalty, fourth down. I imagine that'll change their mind, and they'll probably punt the football because, uh, again, field position is so important for Northern Illinois. And so here they are right about midfield, and they'll be putting BYU back inside that 10-yard line. So fourth and one goes to fourth and six, and the punt unit comes out. And that's five penalties against NIU here in the first half to one for BYU. Matt Ferentz will punt it away, and NIU has booted it on all five, all four of their possessions so far this afternoon. Punt away, Shelton shielding, sh- shielding against the Sun. Sees the ball go behind him and into the end zone for a touchback. It'll be BYU out to the 20-yard line after this. 9.26 to go in quarter number two. BYU 3, NIU 0 on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. You're listening to BYU Football on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Today's game brought to you by Siegfried and Jensen. Siegfried and Jensen have been helping Utah families for over 25 years. 9.26 to go until halftime. Low scoring first half. BYU 3 and NIU 0. But NIU games so usually are low scoring, Mark. Yeah, that's right. They they, uh, they barely score over, at, what, 19 points a game when they're playing out of conference. And they score like 27 when they're playing in conference. But uh, all their scores are within a touchdown against uh, ordinary teams. So in this, I I do appreciate what they do on defense. So BYU runs two creative passes, the little screen pass to Hifo, their last possession, and they've got to defend it. And then they run the little shuffle pass up there to Katoa in an open area, and they've got it covered. Things that uh, you wouldn't be expecting to play, and yet uh, Northern Illinois does a good job of defending. BYU first down and 10 from their own 20-yard line. Matt Hadley, who leads BYU in carries today, is the tailback with Wilson under center. The fly sweep motion is a decoy as booting is Wilson and throws to Bushman. Bushman crossing at the 35, makes the reception for 15. BYU moves the chains, give him 16. And he's, Wilson to Bushman. He's hurt. He's got something wrong with his hand. Uh-oh. But uh, that's the place. you got that tight end crossing against that zone linebackers in the middle of the field. That's the spot you can find an open receiver. So Bushman's cradling his right arm as he goes directly to the sideline. So Bushman's injured and leaves. Wilson's under center. Hadley's the lone setback. Two wide receivers far side. One to the near. Fly sweep motion is from Hifo as the give goes to Hadley, and he just inches left for a gain of two on first and ten out to the 38-yard line of BYU. 8.45 to go until halftime. BYU three, and Northern Illinois zero. BYU getting a good push right at the line of scrimmage against the down linemen. It's the linebackers and the pursuit that is uh, you're not able to get to those guys to block and make that clean opening for a back to pop through. Wilson Gunn. James Empey. Over the ball. Conveys the snap. Delay draw. 
Hadley. Hadley waits for traffic to clear middle, and the middle pile pushes for two. It'll be third and seven. Yet again, there's a third, third and seven for BYU. No, it's a second. They had a third and eight earlier. So third and seven for the second time today, and BYU is still looking for its first third down conversion, right? They're 0 for 5. So from the BYU 39-yard line, ball directly between the hashes, third down and 7, 7.50 to play in half number one. It's been a fast-moving game. Wilson Gunn with Hadley to the left. Drops in the pocket, pressure from behind as he throws near side. What a catch made for a first down by Dallin Holker. Man. Leaping at the sideline, coming down with the ball right near the 50-yard line. That'll be our new skin. Beautiful catch of the game brought to you by New Skin. Discover the best you. DB runs right in front of Holker yeah. as he leaps to haul it down. That he does at the 49-yard line of Northern Illinois. Great grab. Yeah, it went right through that linebacker's hands. I, I, I thought it was going to be close to a pick. Definitely is going to be batted. Instead, it goes right through his hands, and Holker has enough focus and concentration to make a great catch. Yeah, and Zach, I mean, Zach put it in a good spot where only Holker could make the catch. And Jordan throw. Cole, the outside linebacker, was the one going for the pick. Zach's under center. Going in motion is Hefo. Deep drop is Wilson pressured from behind. Steps out of it. Second guy got him. So multiple players in. And the second drops Zach Wilson to the turf at the 46 of BYU. Loss of five. Antonio Jones-Davis with his fourth sack of the season. Dropping Wilson, setting up second down and 15 now for BYU. So there they come. That, when they ran the little draw on second down earlier, I'm pretty sure that BYU is anticipating they were going to bring those linebackers and rush them inside. So if you could pop that draw off the tackle, have a good chance of making a big play. From the BYU 47. Yeah, and if Zach had just a little bit more time there, you would have, he would have seen Holker uh, open wide, open on this uh, left side of the field. Pau'u. One of two wide receivers to the right. They fake Tahifo on fly sweep. They run Wilson right. And on second and 15, gain of six. Third down and nine coming up for BYU. So designed run by Zach. And BYU's third and nine with six minutes even to go till halftime. Wilson's eight for 12 passing. Childers two of five passing. Yeah. So, again, here's the spot that I think that you look at a receiver in the, near the hashes of the field because... Uh, the outside people are running with wide receivers, and those inside linebackers don't do that. All they do is drop. They don't pick anybody up. So you got a chance to hit a tight end in the middle of the field. Simon Colley Holker to the right, Romney to the other side, and now they motion and stop Simon as Wilson throws underneath to Romney. Romney makes the catch at the 45, but on third down and nine, got only five. Yeah, that's that. Or six, maybe. That's that design screen where they bring that outside receiver on a crossing route, and the other receivers on the left side of the field, they come down and stalk the defender, and then when the pass is made, they go ahead and block in an attempt to create that screen. So short, and BYU still, now they got, they got the one. They're one for seven now on third downs. That previous catch by Holker did move chains, right? So fourth and six now from the 45 of NIU, and BYU will punt away with Rhett Almond to boot to Cole Tucker. Another short kick. Short wobbler, and it's caught at the 15-yard line by Tucker. Timeout on the field, 4.44 to go until the break. This uh, first half is clipping along. Not much scoring has gotten done. Three zip, BYU leads NIU here on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Let's head back to the Bryant Heating and Cooling Comfort broadcast booth and join the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. Back here at LaBelle Edwards Stadium, Provo, Utah. 4.44 to go in half number one. BYU 3 and Northern Illinois 0 is our score. Utah Community Credit Union is the number one mortgage provider in Utah Valley with home buying experts at work in every branch. So if you're thinking of buying or refinancing a home, talk to us. It's what we do. Stats check. BYU again still roughly a doubling up NIU in offense right now. 136 to 77 in total yardage. And BYU's run exactly twice as many plays, 30 to 15. And possession time is more than 2 to 1 in BYU's favor. Yet, after all of that, just the three point edge on the scoreboard. BYU 3, NIU 0. And NIU has been, Mark, as you noted, in four one score games this That's year. Right. And they are 4 0 oh in those one score games. The longer they keep it close, the better they feel about their chances. And even in the Utah game, that's their whole goal. You're, you're right, Greg, is to keep it close and then uh, make a big play. 
uh, in the Utah game, they were driving to take the lead near the end of the game before Utah intercepted a pass and took it in for a touchdown. Marcus Jones to the left tip of Marcus Childers on first and 10. Huskies at their own 16-yard line. Snap to Childers. Three-step. Throws quickly. Near side. Catch made. Force out by Isaiah Kaufusi on Marcus Jones. So Childers to Jones to the 18-yard line. Short gain. Second and eight coming up. I like that running back. And those wide short routes for an easy throw for the quarterback. And sometimes to break a tackle and make a big play. Childers gun. Jones now right hip. Twins to the right side. Single tight end left as Childers with time throws to the far side. Going high to make the catch. The 32-yard line is Jawan Wesley. He's been busy. And that's good for a first down. On second and eight, got 11. Yeah. So to the 32-yard line of NIU, first down. Long throw. Just a down and out, though, and they're just giving him too much room over there on that sideline. Pistol now. Jones behind Childers. Tight formation right. Single wide left. Hand off Jones middle, and middle provides fruitful territory out to the 38-39 yard line. Gain of seven on first and ten. Yeah, Northern Illinois is a little out of their game plan. They're throwing a little bit more than they normally do, and I think it's further into the season, probably a little more comfortable with their pass attack. So BYU, I think, is uh, forgetting about the run a little bit, trying to play the pass. Second down three. NIU at their own 39-yard line. 3.30 to go till halftime. Kafusi comes on a blitz. Childers runs the other way. Pumps and throws near sideline to the line to gain very near the boundary on second and three. Catch made right at the sticks by Spencer Tears. And for Tears, first catch on the day for him. Yeah, the BYU corners are playing with a little bit more cushion than I would have hoped. Um, they're, they're giving the guys, if, you know, if the throw's on time and the routes run right, uh, it's, a, it's a pretty good six or seven yard completion. Just shy of the line to gain. Third down and one. Pistol for the Huskies. Marcus Childers in the gun. Marcus Jones, the tailback. And timeout. Timeout NIU with his third down and one with 3 2 We're going to go in quarter number two. We'll take a break on the new skin, BYU Sports Charge Network. Time out. Now back to Mark Lyons and the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel, on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Cougar fans, Nissan knows game day is all about the game winning drive. So Rogue has available technologies that will help make the day's best drive getting to the stadium. Nissan, proud supporter of college athletics, third down and one for Northern Illinois. They've yet to complete a third down or convert one this year. They're, or this, this day, beg your pardon, they're 0 for 4 on third downs this afternoon. On the season, on this year, they are 37% on third down conversion attempts. Ball at the 41-yard line of NIU. BYU 3, Northern Illinois 0. 3.02 to go before halftime. Childers quarterback, Harbison tailback. Hand off Harbison. Gets to the middle between the two guards, and the pile pushes for a yard and a half. First down, NIU. It's the visitors in all white with red, and BYU in the home blue jerseys with white. This sunny Saturday, perfect day for football. Yeah, it's not a the great biggest, day. not the biggest crowd in the world, but uh, those who are here have to be enjoying it. Again, wide three defensive linemen for BYU. Kafusi inches up. They drop eight. Childers looking, looking, scrambling to the left, throwing to the left sideline, complete to tears on the paint right near midfield at the near sideline. It's a gain of six on first and ten. So they release valve Spencer tears. Moves it to near midfield. It will be the 49 of NIU. Not getting much pressure on Childress. He's having plenty of time to decide who to throw to. Second and four from the pistol. Childress with Jones. Jones now two steps to his right, creating a diagonal line between quarterback and running back. Trips to the wide right. Childress pulls it away. Steps through the first tackler. Tacklers two and three get him, but not until he gets six, seven yards on second and four. Tanner Jacobs in the stop. But running through the first tackle, gaining the first down. So 44 BYU now. Two minutes to go until halftime, and NIU putting together its best drive of the game. Kafusi platoons out. Corbin, that is. 
Corners press on either side. Five at the line for BYU. They bring the five as Childers takes a deep drop. Loads up and goes for the end zone. He's got a man behind defenders, and it is incomplete. And a flag flies for pass interference on the intended pass for Jawan Wesley. Two DBs there, and it may be that Chris Wilcox will be the one called for the infraction. He and Warner were the defenders running with Wesley. Yeah, I think you ran into him just as... Pass interference. Defense, number 32. 15-yard penalty from the previous spot. Automatic first down. So the difference there is the quarterback gives your receiver a chance to catch it. It's going to be right there where he's got a chance to make a play. And so uh, it happens that uh, BYU defender bumps him and grabs him just before the ball gets there just because he's, uh, he has a chance to make the play. Wilcox tripped and fell into the receiver at the very end of that play. Lost his footing and just kind of stumbled into him, and that's enough for the flag. 142 to go. 29-yard line of BYU. A turn handoff from Childers to Nettles, and Nettles coming right to the 25-yard line. Gain of four, second down and six. Clock rolling to 90 seconds, and the Huskies have two timeouts remaining. They're at least in position to tie the game, if not take the lead here before halftime. Second down, six, 25. Childers, shotgun, sprint right directly. A short sprint, stops, looks to his left. Now being chased to the far boundary and steps out after a minimal gain, maybe a yard. Third down at about five coming up for NIU with the clock stopped at 1.06 to go before halftime. Nice job by BYU's right corner. And uh, he was, the quarterback starts off to the right and he wants to throw back to the left receiver going down the left sideline. But, uh, BYU stays right with him, and that was uh, Keenan Ellis did a great job of staying right with that receiver. And deeper down the depth chart, defensive lineman Jetty Tuiloma was the one tracking down Childers on that last play. Third down and five now at the BYU 24. Ball far hash. Childers gun with Jones to his left hip. A pump left. A go left. And incomplete. He threw well in front of Jawan Wesley, the intended receiver. So fourth down and five. And a 41-yard field goal try may be forthcoming here for the Huskies. So the field goal unit is on. And field goal kicker Andrew Gantz, who is 7 for 10 this year, the long long of 49, will look at a 41-yarder to square the game. Okay, Jacobson forced that ball to be thrown just a little early, Greg. That's why I think that he missed him as badly as he did because Jacobson was right in his face. So from the far hash from 41, Gantz to square it. The snap and placement are good. The kick is on its way. Hit the upright. No good. Smacked off the left upright, and the score stays 3-0. BYU with 55 seconds to go before halftime. We'll stay right here with it. So BYU should take a lead to the break. And time to tell you that, once again, in the Kalani Sitake era, BYU has never lost a game when leading at halftime. And BYU will lead at halftime, you would think. With 55 seconds to go, first and 10 at the BYU 24-yard line. You wouldn't think they'd give uh, NIU a chance to get the ball back? You would think. BYU 12-0 leading at the break. 2-1 tied at the break in the Satake era. There was a chance the game would be tied, but Gantz smacked it off the bar. Wilson. Draw. Hadley. Hadley for two, and will NIU use the timeout? They've got two left, and they take one there. So, you know, you may have some work to do before getting to halftime with the lead. 30-second charge timeout. BYU, their first. BYU wants to make some hay here. Whether business, pleasure, a football game, or the area's best attractions bring you to Provo, we can't wait to see you on your next adventure at the Courtyard by Marriott. Ben Bagley is in for Jason Shepard now for halftime and postgame coverage. Cougar Halftime Live is just a short few minutes away. 48 seconds to play here in the first half. BYU 3 and NIU no score. The lone scoring in this game on a 35-yard Skyler Southam field goal. Southam now 6 for 9 on his field goals this year with a long of 47. And and Greg, with 48 seconds, that's actually plenty of time to to have a couple explosive plays on the sideline and get in field goal range to get some more points on the board. It's Mitch Jurgens in our Zions Bank end zone. Zions Bank, we haven't forgotten who keeps us in business. 
Zach Wilson gun on second and eight from the BYU 26, and BYU will throw. Zach throws complete near side. Hefo kept in bounds at the 30-yard line, gain of four. Third down and four coming up. And NIU with one timeout remaining. The scoreboard shows two, and now well, it should score zero. BYU took the last timeout. Time out. BYU, oh, oh, their oh. second. That's right. The original say, uh, yeah, it was BYU, so they have one left, and NIU has two remaining. Sorry, Mark. Thanks for the catch on that. So 30-yard line, BYU. Please set the game clock down to 39 six. seconds. 3-9, please. Yeah, Hifo, uh, now, thank you. Like uh, Mitch was suggesting, if he gets the ball to Hifo a little further to the sideline, he has a chance to step out of bounds and give him a couple more plays because they'd still have that timeout. So now BYU on third down and five, where they are one for seven this afternoon. And I use one for six. Wilson gun with Hadley. Two wide receivers either side. 39 seconds to go till halftime. Third down and four at the 30 of BYU. Zach steps up. <laughs> Incompletion. Live oh. a Thrown too far for 11 at the 45 yard line. Thought he had it for a yeah, second. And then the ball, ball got knocked out of his grip. Yeah, he, he just didn't quite get it pulled in in time because he does a great job of getting it out there, but goes through to the defender. So NIU will indeed get the ball back before halftime. Yeah, that was, a, that was a short, very short sequence for BYU. 21-second possession. And NIU didn't have to use a timeout, right? Because BYU That's took right. both of them. And they've been very good at kick blocking kicks. So uh, BYU needs to just kind of get this kick off. They blocked three of them this season. Rolling on the previous play is an incomplete pass. The play is under further review. Hmm. Not sure why. <laughs> yeah. Since the ball <laughs> never caught it, <laughs> it bounced around on the ground. It, it could be uh, whether they're checking for a targeting call because his, his helmet did get close to oh, so, the hit, so, so it's not the catch you're talking about. Maybe uh, the maybe, hit. Maybe that's, okay. that's my only guess. But play sure. is under review for potential targeting. Well, there it is. Look at Mitch Jurgens. Yeah, he knew what, the, what was going on. So there it is. Uh, not the catch that's at issue, but rather whether Hepa was hit high. Zach Wilson had completed seven in a row before that misfire there to Hefo, but now we'll take a look at it and see if. Uh, uh, looks like helmet After catches him in the, the shoulder. the rolling on the field is confirmed. There's no targeting on the play. So BYU punting it away with 34 seconds to go Fourth before halftime. Good eye by Mitch. And Rhett Allman to punt. Cole Tucker to receive for NIU. Punt away. Didn't get a lot of hang time, but a good roll for BYU all the way down inside the 15 to the 13-yard line of NIU. Probably his best kick. So 21 seconds till halftime. The pace of this game uh, slowing somewhat as we approach the break. That was a 58-yard punt on that roll. And that's a season long for Rhett Allman by some six yards. So from the 13 yard line, NIU, first down and 10. 21 seconds to go. They are Looks not like they might go safe posture, take a knee, and get to the locker room. So they BYU are. will lead at halftime. 3 0. Snap, knee, and that is it. So first half is complete. And BYU takes the. 3 0 lead to the locker room. Players still milling about on the field, but they'll soon be marching toward their. NIU's already off the field. Sidelines already taken off, and that will do it. So, BYU 3, NIU 0 is our score after 30 minutes of play. Get the halftime thoughts of Kalani Sitake. Mitchell Jurgens down at field level with Kalani. Mitch. Coach, uh, coming off the bye week, you had a little bit more time for preparation. What was your overall assessment of the first half? Yeah, we just got to be more aggressive on offense. Defense has got to keep playing, be more disruptive. I feel like he's got too much time to throw when, he, when they are passing, but uh, we just keep, you know, got out of drive, didn't miss the field goal, but other than that, defense is doing well. We just need to play better on offense and get some points on the board. Uh, in order to put a little bit more points on the board in the second half, what is the key that the offense needs to change or do in the second half just to do be that? Be aggressive. Be aggressive. Don't be afraid to do anything. You know, they're they're a great defense. They can pass rush and all that stuff, but uh, we, we're good. We're good offense, too. We just need to make sure we put our guys in the right position to have success. Awesome. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Thank you, Mitch. Thank you, Coach. BYU 3, NIU 0 at halftime. On the new skin, BYU Sports Network. New skin.